Yes, I can. Because no matter how much you try, you're still going to be away from... Oh, there's a skeleton archer right here. Creeping around or sneaking by. While you're engaging into something like this. Whoa. Whoa, that was dangerous. Look at them. What are you guys doing? Wait for the... Okay, he, this one's gone. So just... Oh, boy. Really? I'm glad that that wasn't a two-star archer. Look at his HP. I'm bearing scraping off his HP. Oh, my God. That's a two-star. Oh, no. And an archer. Oh, we're getting close to the night time. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Something I never anticipated, but... Oh, this is worse. Oh, it's the one with the club. Um, oh, boy. Oh, we got a sneak shot. Yoink. No, you don't. All right. Hello and greetings to every single fellow Viking. Welcome to another series of Valheim. We are in day 10 of our hardcore permanent death challenge. So I was actually inspired by one of my friends to do this and I will have uh, I will have his channel in the link in the description. Well, it's another content creator, so I consider him my friend, why not? Because since we're all uh, doing the same thing, almost the same thing, only the only difference thing is uh, he's actually doing it uh, for the first time and I've, I have more uh, experience with it, with this game. Let's see, we need to get some arrows. Because if you recall from the last episode, we just raided a uh, burial chamber. <laughs> okay. So let's see, we kind of need around... Uh, we should be safe with 16 of these. Yeah, that should do the trick. Let's see, 16 of this. And only... No, not... Only two feathers. So, wait. Um, actually, actually, hold on, 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 let's see. Before I get ahead of myself here. We're gonna need eight more. There. Now we should be fine. But yeah, we got the fine wood bow. We use a troll to help us. It was truly scary, but totally worth it. Okay. And now we get the wooden ones. Okay. And we have those arrows there, just for uh, emotional support or whatnot. We can have them there. Good, so we can go for some more, uh, let me just save here because it's a new day. So in the 10th day, we're going, we're getting closer, dangerously close to the Bronze Age. And that's something I really want to, and let's hope we can achieve that in this, uh, in this playthrough. Now. There were some more dungeons in here. I know for sure because one, the first troll that we, well, the first troll that I got, or let me put it differently. The first troll that I saw get killed was killed by some skeleton archers. The troll was stuck in some sort of a weird situation. And the skeleton archers, two of them took advantage of him and killed it for me. Which was, if you ask me, is highly convenient. I'm not going to complain about that. But if you look in the distance right over there where I'm pointing right now, those are meadows again. So I don't know how large this black forest is. Should be pretty decent. If not, there are plenty to go around. I'm just going to check and see if we have more dungeons. Now I know for sure that there are some dungeons close to my base because I've heard some action going right down there and that's another... Yeah, I can hear some action going in the forest right now. So the best friend that you've got is your uh, sound. So the best buddies should be your headphones. Okay, we're, we are right at the edge of the black forest here. Um, There we go. There's the skeletons. Can I get this guy? Oh, darn it. So where is he going, though? We we can get up here. Let him clear the forest for us. 
Hello. Hi. Bye. Let's see what he got in store for us. Oh, I forgot to take some materials for the fire, but this this actually might do the trick here. How much stone we have? Four. We just need two more. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let's think this through. Okay, there's my stone. Let's throw away one. Okay, so right now we should be good to go. Let's check this dungeon and see what's inside. As per usual, I'm going to turn the SSAR down so you can actually see what's happening in here. Because I might not be able to hold the torch on me for the whole adventure. Oh wow, so this is closed. The second dungeon that is closed. Oh, that's a rancid remains. Um, wait a second. Let me see if I can get myself a sneak attack here. Yes, I can. We got rid of the spawner, though. Hello. Come on. Are you gonna follow me? Oh yes, you are. Wait, 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 wait. So one of this. What are you actually attacking, my friend? One more and you're done. There we go. Easy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so I have a big mouth because I just said easy and, and I might actually die. Um, Let's see. Let's keep those for the spare ones. Like a spare part. Look at this. Oh, more swordling cores, which is great. Okay. Yeah, I'm gathering all the gold and everything, but I don't think we're gonna, ever going to find these, the trader. It's, it's like excess, extremely rare. I think it's the rarest thing to find a trader on the trader on uh, the hardcore series with no map and no nothing. Because no matter how much you try, you're still going to be away from... Oh, there's a skeleton archer right here. So let me just take care of him. We and you. Oh, he actually got me. Ow. Let me check this area just to make sure that there is absolutely no one in here. So this is something you might want to do is always check around the areas. So make sure that you don't have enemies creeping around or sneaking by while you're engaging into something like this. Whoa. Whoa, that was dangerous. Yeah, you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Good. If that was a spawner, that I might have done something really stupid, I don't know. Turns out there's no spawner here. What am I doing? Just checking to see if there isn't any other skeleton. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He just got deleted. Oh my god, I just got scared for a second. I thought there was a skeleton behind me. Oh boy. This game and the ability to scare me is insane. I'm not usually scared. Like, I don't get jump scares, but... In situations like this, when you, your entire world progress can end in a second... How come he didn't spot me? We're gonna need a lot of bones for the last bow in the game. Look at them. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing with the, with the door and everything? Let's wait for some stamina while they're just having some fun with the door. These guys are set to break the door. Go back. Yeah, you go back. So you don't want to go. Okay, let's grab some more arrows. Oh, those flint arrows are really good versus trolls. Okay, this is a really weird dungeon. Honestly, I think I've been here. Yes, I've been here. So, yeah, let's just get out. Okay, that was a waste of a dungeon. We did find some, uh, some core. 
So another good thing that you can do is always leave a campfire at the entrance. So let's just do that to make sure that this dungeon is checked. Let me grab some wood. Also turn off the SSAO because we kind of need the shadows now. Otherwise outside will be too bright. Okay. I don't think I left a campfire at the entrance of the second dungeon that I've explored. So might as well just do that. Let me grab the other stone. Okay, let's go. Let's get to the other dungeon. Oh, there's another one here. Wait. What? Well, don't get me wrong. I'm really... I'm really hyped about it. Where's the skeleton that's guarding it? There's nowhere to be found. Okay, so... Um, oh, wait. He got pounded hard by someone. He got really bent. Okay, so I need around 10 stone now. This is a bit um, different. But there we go, we have 10 stone. So one campfire out. We're gonna have one campfire out. So we mark this as checked. Just looking around. Is that a troll cave right there to my right, left, right there? I don't know, I don't think so. But oh boy, there we go. So one here and another one in here. And we have to get the guy with the SSAO. So if we can squeeze actually these two burial chambers, I think they will do. There will be enough. Okay, so they're already coming at me. Hard. Okay, let's wait for the air. Okay, he, this one's gone. So just... Oh boy, really? I'm glad that that wasn't a two-star archer. just for good measure. These guys are merciless. Have I saved? Okay, just mushrooms in here. Oh, actually a lot of them. Let's see, what else, what else, what else? What else I should be waiting for the rest of the bonus before doing any, anything stupid here. What's with all the dust and the particles? There shouldn't be any dust in here. There's no wind though. Actually you can hear the wind howling. But yeah, the theory it's wind howling outside. Okay, so we are rested. Let's go and explore some more. Oh, really again another archer? You're gone. You're gone before you can even. Oh boy. Let's think this through because now there are two skeleton archers. Is this my demise? Am I gonna die here? No. One, two, three. Oh, I was silent there because I had to focus. Two skelly archers are a problem, even if you're gonna play bow. Okay. Nothing in here, just two certain cores. But I will have to explore one more dungeon, I think. This might not have all the certain cores that I need. How dangerous is this? How dangerous is this right now? Okay, this is a lot of dead ends and well these dungeons, these dungeons are not that great. Honestly. I expected better ones, some coins in there. Okay, so there's a ghost. Okay, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Hold on. Let's talk about this. So just wanna wait by the fire for a second here. Oh boy, that's a two-star archer. That's a two-star archer, that's a two-star skeleton. Look at his HP, I'm bearing scraping off his HP. He's purplish. If that guy hits me once, I'm gone. 
<laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'm dying from smoke and inhalation. Come on. Gotta be close. Come on. Oh my god, that's a two star. So, as I was saying, this game really wants to obliterate you entirely. Is there more? Are there more? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. We're having fun. We're having fun, and I'm super, super scared. Like, this game is the only one that actually managed to scare me, to give me a nice spook. In the sense that the atmosphere is so heavy, you might, so many things can go wrong. There's an archer right there. So let's see. Yeah, they're coming. So there's no archer. There's another two star there. Oh my god, this is insane, man. So what am I going to do about this? Come on, you're coming. Take them one at a time, I guess. Because otherwise I'm going to die. Are you going to die from the fire? Yeah. So you can wait for the fire effect to go on. Oh, that was a one star. Oh, it's, it's, I feel I feel better now. If there isn't another two star in there, that might can said that might be a problem. But where are they all at? So they all came from here. Oh my god, that's a two star. F oh no. And an archer. Um okay. <laughs> this has been fun. Um how do we do this? <laughs> this is this is not okay. Look at that. I was gonna totally obliterate that door. Can I get the archer? Is my question. Wish I can get the archer going. Come on, you come in here. We that was super dangerous. I'm not gonna ever don't ever want to do that again. Don't ever let me do that again, folks. Yeah, we can land another fire shot there just to keep it going. I don't care about the smoke. This guy is gonna totally obliterate me. Wait for some stamina. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, you're not a problem at this point. You're gone. Question of the day. Is there a spawner right down here? Because it might totally be a spawner. And I'm gonna lose my crap if there is a spawner. Okay, so no more mushrooms. Hold on, is there a spawner? Oh my god, there's a spawner in here. Hold on. Okay, got me. He might get me again. He missed. Can I do this? Push this guy. One more arrow. He's gone. Oh my god. Oh boy. You need to aim higher, my friend. Actually, why am I tipping off the archer? <laughs> that was a stupid idea. How is my carry weight is what I'm concerned about. Oh no. Whenever things go south, south, I tend to go through the British accent. Why? Question is why? Okay. And if you're wondering why I'm not just uh, pressing the take all button, it's because they won't stack in your inventory for some reason. So I need you need to go for them individually. Well, this has been a really terrifying experience that I one of which I will never want to repeat again. I'm gonna wait here for the rest of the buff, and we're gonna get our asses home where it's fine, safe, and warm. And we can go out and take the Ike Deer boss out. 
So actually, we were pretty close. I discovered something in the last episode. We are actually pretty close to the spawn location. I just went in the wrong direction. Okay, let's go for the SSAO. We're going like this. Okay, what's happening? What? What? What is this? What is this? Okay, so am I stuck forever? What the heck is this? Oh, thank God. Oh, this is this is buggy. I thought I was stuck there. That would have been really unfortunate. Oh, we're getting close to the night time. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Something I never anticipated, but... Oh, this is worse. Oh, it's the one with the club. Um, 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 I need him. I need him. Okay, let's think this through. How do we approach this? I really need that big boy. Oh, boy. How do I do this? I can land a sneak shot on him, but... Other than that... He's still there. Oh, I'm just not hitting him. Or just running from him. Might as well at this point. Might as well go into the meadows. Okay, big boy, let's see what you got. I don't want to see what you got. I don't know why I want to see what you got. Oh boy, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is super bad. So I'm thinking that I might want to tag along here. Oh boy. One more, come on. I can squeeze one more in there. Oh, screw you, little guy. You make me want to miss. Come on. Oh, that was a landed shot. How dare you, game? How dare you, game? Can I get one in his head? Oh, boy. This is, like, the most dangerous thing I've ever done. If I get out of this alive, I'm gonna need a prize. Oh, boy. My hands are so sweaty right now. Okay, let's let's turn the SSAO Jesus down so I can see what I'm doing. So yeah, fighting a troll at night, it's not worth it. I'm 100% sure it's not worth it. Oh my god. Really, I'm not where I'm worried about cleaning the forest. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna leave everything in here and we're just gonna run for it. I don't care if I hit another troll, I'm just gonna run for it. So right down there, I was wondering like, where are all the trolls at? But there, there you go. Night time and you get a troll. So I'm gonna try and stay as far away as possible from getting wet or even getting closer to them. Look at that, there's a brute now, come on. The, the game is, this game is just cruel. Now I got a brute chasing me. Actually, I can take care of him in this building. If he decides to follow. Damn it. Yeah, you go and follow. Oh, really? You're not gonna follow? Oh boy, you're smarter than you look. Look. Really? Really? Oh my god. What have I gotten myself into? I don't want to fight this guy. I scare I'm more scared of this guy than a troll. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm not. So these guys, if you don't face them head first, they're just gonna run away and they're just gonna come running at you. But there you go, that's a fire arrow. And now where are you going? What? 
Why are you moving in zigzag patterns? Oh my god, look at all the seeds. What do I do? Do I get rid of the wood to get the seed going? Yeah, I kind of need the ancient seed for the elder. I'm carrying too much. Oh my god, I'm gonna die for this, aren't I? I'm gonna die for this. This greediness is gonna cost me my life. Is that another troll? There. I think I've spotted something blue. Or is it just the moonlight? Because everything can be blue during... Oh my god, really? There's another one. Hold on. Come on. What is he doing? Why is he not attacking me? I'm just gonna grab the seed. The seed. Can I have the seed? Oh, he has no seeds on him. Oh god, oh god, oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die for this. Oh, this is super bad. Super duper bad. How come I'm always, always going into the darkness? Oh boy. There's another one right there looking come to get me. Or is, is it a brute or a great dwarf? So yeah, good tip for you is turn off the SSAO during night. So you can see what actually happens. Because the SSAO casts a lot of shadows. I don't even have the room for the honey. Oh my god, this is so bad. <sighs> what am I doing? Let's repair fast. Let's sleep fast. Oh god. Oh boy. I'm really scared, honestly. I didn't I didn't think that uh, going for some dungeons in the hardcore could be so problematic. Oh, but that troll... Oh my god. If I had missed just one dodge roll there, that would have been the, the end of me. Okay. Now we can take care of... Yeah, and it's raining and of course it's a thunderstorm the very second day. Why not? Because the game loves to do that to you. So we can have eight honey here. Grab two more in here. Oh god, I hate the thunderstorms. Is that a weird sizzling sound in the background? Why there have to be so many thunderstorms? That's something I never understood. Maybe staying in the house helps. Yeah, a bit. It does. It muffles the sound a bit. At least for a while. Okay, we are getting um, we are getting the troll cape, which is good. And we can also upgrade it, so which is even better. What do we do about the seeds? So I can leave the seeds in here. Uh, we can. Yeah, these things are gonna be out. 71 arrows. I have, um, yes, arrows here. There we go. We can have tools and arrows in these chests. Or let me, let me put it differently. Well, let's go and say arrows. Tools. Potions. Like this. And now we can grab my the, the hoe, the mighty hoe. We can place it in there. And have the flint arrows in here. But oh boy, this is bad. So let's just go outside really fast and grab the armor. Let's grab the cape. This takes too much troll hide, honestly. Also, five for the upgrade. What the heck? There's for extra two defense there. But I guess it's worth it. I don't have anything else better to do with the uh, with the troll for now. With the troll, uh, with the troll hide. We can go and grab some more arrows. Honestly, let's let's do something really clever here. Let me place all the arrows in here. So now we have three types of arrows and start fresh. Start a fresh batch. We kind of need 80, 80 wood for that. This is a good day to grow and farm wood. 
honestly. And I think I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that it's an ongoing storm outside. We're gonna sleep as fast as, as soon as uh, that uh, we get past half of the day. Okay, so let's see. We also need 10 feathers. Might as well grab some more arrows. Oh boy. But yeah, we did fight a troll in the night. And the one with a giant club. Well, I think it's a tree. He has a giant tree with him. So now we're gonna have the good habit of keeping uh, 200 arrows on me. I wish you can craft more at once. So let's just say 100 at once. So That would increase the effectiveness. I'm not gonna spend too much time in the base because we're gonna get raided like crazy in here. I'm gonna keep the axe there just for fun. And I'm also gonna go in this direction. Thank God. It's What would I do without this? It's an amazing day. Perfect day for um, losing time around the woods. So, yeah, we can use, and like I said, we can use this day to grab more wood. And um, basically get the wood for the smelting process going. If I'm gonna have this too prepared, so after getting the wood for the smelting process, we can actually go and take out Ikthyr. And for some reason, I'm gonna have to go the long way around. Because I don't know the short way. Really, dude. The only reason, for the record, the only reason why I want to take you with my bow. Oh, you actually hit me. And uh, resides in the fact that uh, I need bow skills. So let's see where we are at at this point. Oh, come on. So we're at 28 bows, which is good. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to waste fire arrows on you, so might as well just leave them there for now, since we're going to farm wood and avoid this stupid little situation. But yeah. I'm not going to go for too much wood here, so not crazy amount of wood. Because once I get the cart, we can fill it up with wood and just take it back to the base. So my main concern here is getting uh, back to oh no, not the bar. Oh, I thought it was uh, this was our base. Oh my god. So that's our base, <laughs> yeah. So right, my main concern here is just getting the wood going and not. I think a chest, a chest, full chest of food. So t two or three runs should do the trick. Now I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna put all the forges. So let's say I'm gonna have the wood in here. Make a small uh, structure like this one, where we can store the wood. I can get a roof quickly, like this. Oh my god, the snapping sometimes goes crazy. But I think it's a pretty clever system. Okay, so... We're gonna have coal in the lower chests here. And wood in the upper ones. I can hear you. There's a grayling right outside the door. But meanwhile, I'm gonna store all the resin in there, so... Might as well. Actually, let me grab this. So we're gonna fill these two chests with wood. And after I will have achieved that... Then we can talk Ikthyr fighting and... Actually, getting into the Bronze Age. But you're gonna see, after we're gonna get into the Bronze Age, things are gonna spiral super fast towards the Elder. Because I'm just gonna need the tools, right? So I'm not gonna need anything. Uh, I, don't, I don't go for the armor. Because I need mobility. So take mobility from me, and I'm dead. Yeah, but we're gonna go for mobility here. Okay, really fast. Sort that thing out. I'm going a bit chaotical in here. I should be more careful. Sort of a not to go towards the Black Forest. How long is this storm gonna take? I wish those stormy days would be a bit more, uh, a bit not so often, like, to have them more rare. 
on rare occasions. Because, uh, honestly, it's a bit annoying for me. Oh, look. And there's my friend. And there's another friend. Oh, this is a great dwarf. So, as you can see, for some silly reason, these guys have followed me from the back forest. How are you not staggered? Now, I kind of need the stone, but I have to ditch it because we're, for, we're here for the wood. 279, so these two should do the trick. Yeah. And let's have a save. Eight minutes with no save. That's a bad, bad idea. But yeah, I'm gonna have to fill these two chests like this. And the rest of the wood that I'm gonna need for future smelting and stuff like that, we're gonna use the cart to transport it, obviously. So there goes the wood, there goes the resin. We can do this, come on guys, bear with me. And um, if you wanna skip this, feel free to skip like five more minutes or ten minutes from here on. Because uh, I'm not gonna cut anything from the from this process. So I'm not accused later that I've uh, cheated or done something silly. So yeah, we're gonna go through with everything. Like you said, yeah, like you saw earlier about that scene with the trolls, you know? If I had cut the video there on my way home, I I wouldn't have the part with a troll, or my life was in danger. Now, obviously, your life is not endangered in the meadows, but still, you can have an event spawning or a troll coming. Like we saw, you saw those two gray dwarfs coming from the dark forest all the way up here. What's gonna stop a troll from coming? So, apparently, being outside is dangerous even in the meadows. Doesn't really matter where you're at. That was a sweet headshot. Wait, do headshots count for monsters too? And now all of a sudden there is no storm. Goodness gracious, man. I'm still gonna go for the wood. I'm still going for the wood. Just this time we're gonna see it better. That's the only difference. And we're not gonna be wet. But yeah, this spawn location that we got here is pretty sweet. If you think of it, super close to the Black Forest spawn location. Oh my god, the base location. What am I talking about? I'm a bit tired. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty neat, if you ask me. And we have a decent uh, size base, too. So, uh, wood goes in there, resin goes in there. I'm gonna need a lot of resin, so... Going for the small trees is the best thing ever, because you're going to need a lot of resin, especially if you want to play the archer. Flaming arrows for the elder. Now I haven't fought the elder. I haven't fought any boss on this mode. I've done some tests, honestly. But let me put it this way. I've done all the tests that I've done. I had the, the maxed out gear for every single biome, right? So for instance, when I fought the bone mass, I was in uh, full iron gear with a mace and a uh, buckler, iron buckler, shield, whatever. And uh, you can tank one swing in hardcore, you can tank one swing from the bone mass, but uh, two swings out of the question. So if it gets you twice before you manage to replenish your health, uh, you're a goner. So yeah. The melee, the melee will be a challenge. I think the only way someone can uh, beat Valheim as a melee fighter is um, if they perfectly dodge roll every single attack and only take on one enemy at a time. Because using AoE weapons is very, very dangerous. And unfortunately, you don't have things like explosive arrows for... Um, masses of monsters and stuff like that. You only have what the game gives you, and what the game gives you at this point of the game is crap in terms of AoE damage. Basically, you have no AoE damage, so you do need to take them one at a time. I just love that the mage has AoE damage, but they didn't think to give the archer some AoE damage. So no area of effect for us. We're just gonna have to suffer. Let's eat. When I see the foods on my left side ticking, 
I know it's time that we have to eat so we get our stats back. We're almost full on one chest. And if um if I'm gonna grab all the wood here, the next day we can go for the Ike here, as I said. And basically run for uh, the bronze. Now Ike there is gonna be pretty easy to defeat, I'm not worried at all about that. You can kite around the altar fighting him. You can even fight him. Melee is super easy. Oh my god. What if this was a two star? I barely. I only heard him when the. with his stone struck. The other stone. Great Dwarf Trophy. Do I need that? No, but I'm gonna keep it nonetheless. Who knows? What sort of crazy ideas the developers might have in the near future? Um, I'm not going to be able to pick all that wood up, so we'll just go like this, and basically we're full. So these deer are always going to get spooked, because I'm not killing them, we have too much deer hide. Let's repair, we've filled one chest, we're now working on the second one. Might as well repair really fast. Why am I going around the house? Get the rest of the bonus going. Yeah, uh, so materials for the Black Forest. There we go, there's your... We have more than enough sterling cores for what I intend to do. We need only around 30. Because I'm gonna have three smelters going and the three furnaces going at the same time. So we get ore smelting in two or three days, and in-game days, right? But like I said, I'm not using. Uh, can we play hide and seek? Yes, we can. No, actually. So I'm not planning to go for the uh, bronze gear. I'm just gonna keep it to the troll hide armor. Oh my god. That boar. Please, can I get the wood in peace and quiet? Oh my god. Okay, let's go like this. I'm actually worried about a troll. A troll might come out of the forest, so I might I should have my face towards the forest. That would be the smartest thing to do here. Come on, let me get it. So if you find tree stumps or stuff like that, that's gonna yield the most wood. Unfortunately, no resin. So, uh, yeah. Almost full up on wood here. Usually when farming wood, nothing exciting happens. Unless you're doing what I'm doing and trying to get attention, desperate attention, if you're needy for attention, from the Black Forest. Because, like you said, fighting these, fighting this close, oh, making noise this close to the Dark Forest, it's never a good idea. Okay, we're cool. What is 74? 92. And that's too much wood already. Yeah. Ben. Okay. Get again, spooked deer. So this pattern is going to repeat itself a few times up until I have these two chests filled with wood for the coal. There we go. So one chest full, and now the other one is. We're working on it. Can I squeeze two more runs before nightfall? I don't think so. But we're gonna attempt. Oh my god, what am I doing? We're gonna attempt to. Yeah, I'm not here. Don't spot me, I'm not even here. <laughs> Sometimes it gets glitchy. Okay, but yeah. So farming all this wood now. But actually, uh. Spare me and you later on from grinding. So more, even if I'm gonna have a full, a full on episode of farming wood, that's still uh, that's still happening because I need to get grab, grab the wood. So if you're not interested in seeing me how to farm how I'm farming wood, which I know you're not, feel free to skip into the video. I would do the same thing. So, but what I would actually do if I see someone farming wood is actually I skip seconds. I skip just seconds ahead because I'm curious to see if anything happens. 
any weird situation and I'm usually looking at their HP bar. And when I see the HP bar uh, tickling, <laughs> then I know something silly had happened or something dangerous happened. Okay, let's go. Let's go. We're super close, 97. But thank god we have this forest this close to our base. So this is, honestly, I wouldn't lie, I, I can't lie to you, this is the perfect location for a base. Black forest there, forest nearby, ocean here. So you have all the resources at your disposal, you just need to get them. So two more runs for the wood. I'm gonna do one now, before dark time comes. And another one tomorrow morning. By the time we have the sun up on the sky, we will have enough wood. And just go for Ikthyr at this point. Actually, the night might catch up with me if I don't hurry really, 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 really. Oh my god, <laughs> can't talk. If I don't hurry right up here. So I need to hurry, come on, don't get the big tree. So yeah, the way the night falls, it's really fast. Okay, so let's get this really quick, 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 quick. Get the wood, get the wood going. Imagine farming wood and hearing a troll coming by and just swinging his uh, big club at you. The troll would be something like, you want wood? I have wood here. Taste my wood. Okay, that sounds actually pervert. Sounds like a pervert troll. A kinky troll. Showing us his wood. Okay, I'm gonna stop. What, 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 what am I doing? Okay, one, one, come on, come on, come on. It actually gets a bit brighter before getting darker. Before the night. Did I hear a troll? I think I heard a troll. My god, my god, my god, my god, my god, my god, my god. Run, dear, run, dear, run, dear, because there's a troll nearby. So those are easily the most or the scariest enemy in the game. I'm not even concerned about anything in the swamp right now. Um, the only, my only concern is uh, the troll. Can we stack all these in my chest? That's the question. Let's repair and sleep on it. Um, no, that's too much resin. So let's sleep on it and... Uh, we're gonna see you in the morning. Okay. So there's the morning. I do believe I have enough time for the Ike there in this episode. Although it might be a bit of a longer episode, but uh, I still need to do this. So one more quick run for the last bit of wood here. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then... We're gonna go for the Ikthyr. For the Ikthyr boss. What are you doing here? Maybe be... Okay, where do we have more trees? Like, I need abundance of them. Okay, so get up early in the morning. For the trees, let's see. Can I split them like this? Can I split them with the... Oh my god, I can split them with the other shift key on the keyboard. So let me hold the torch so you can actually see what I'm doing. See all these marvelous particles around. So if you just look at the at the bar up there, at the hot bar or the hot key bar, near my torch you can see the wood gathering in crazy amounts. getting wood quicker with the double resources is uh, ideal because by far the wood is the most important resource that you have in this game oh so there's a cool thing the grayling will not attack me if I hold my torch out but there is something inside me like a force that says shoot the grayling <laughs> oh he actually resisted there Okay, so bows are 29. And there's my um, my dream coming true. Fighting the Ikthyr. Uh. So I always have a saying, if you're gonna fight the Ikthyr, your main skill, your main damage skill should be around 30. 
So 29 is good. We're close to 30 anyway. Yeah, we're 29 and a half. Okay, and we're good to go for the Aikthyr. Let's just eat beforehand. Fill up this chest. Good. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need the deer heads. I need the deer heads. There was an Aikthyr Ar altar nearby the spawn location. So I'm pretty sure if I'm going to follow the coast and go into a straight line. So let's see. This road goes like this. So it goes up to a certain point in there and then it goes like this. So in theory, if I'm going this way, I should land, wind up in the uh, right where I started. But I'm going to follow the road because honestly, I don't want to get lost. I could, you know, just follow the coastline. I'm not going to bother with any enemy, so we're just going straight for the Aikthyr. Defeat him, place the trophy, get the Aikthyr power, which is easily by far the most precious and important power in the game. I'm going to cut a shortcut here, because I'm sure that I'm going to go and hit my old road. So there's the lake, or one of the lakes. And there's my pathing. I can see my pathing right up there. So there's a bunch of lakes right here, and there's the ocean. Because, like you, you noticed, like we came from the ocean. Wait, I think I can see bees from here. Oh my god, can I see bees from here? How did I miss those in the first place? <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's so good. Okay, folks, so we're not only getting the egg there, we're also getting the bees. That's precious, that's precious loot. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, now we have bees forever. Okay, so let's get back to the Aikthyr. So. Are here? Are there more bees here? No. I was getting too greedy. But yeah, four beehives um, should do the trick. Oh no, don't get me into those. So yeah, I'm keep. I keep track of my ocean biome or the, the coastline. The coastline is still there. If I go into that direction, I'm going to end up in the coastline. So there's my road that goes straight to the stones. Best five minutes ever spent in this game was creating this road because now I know where we are. And I know how to get to the coastline. The only thing I regret about is not getting the... Um, with me but I can fix this it's fixable okay so let's go for the act here let's save really fast get the act here and get the stone going let's see where he will uh, spawn actually oh, so he's gonna spawn right over there oh we got a sneak shot yoink no you don't Okay, so he's gonna start some sort of a storm. I actually didn't know how far was the radius of that thing. So always save, better be safe than sorry. So let's see. Shoot him in the ass. Shoot him in the ass. Okay, we took no damage there. Wait for the stamina to go back. Um, this table is really hard for you to comprehend, huh? Okay. At some point, he's just gonna get angry and hit me with his AoE attack. There we go. Can I dodge that? Yes. You have to time it right, though. Okay, one more arrow. Should we go? Oh, oh, I should have gotten him with the fists. That would have been way more spectacular. To finish him off with a fist. But I'm not much of a fighter here. More of a hit and run type of character. Especially in this mode. So there we go. I your buff. Ta da! <laughs> that was so hard. Actually, let me have uh, my theory tested here. Let's go straight forward, because if this happens, I'm going to grab the hoe in the next episodes and uh, 
definitely gonna go along the coastline for the shortcut. So going this way should actually take us to the coastline. I don't know why I did all that, um, why I took a left turn here. I don't know why I did this. Honestly, I don't. Because this goes like that. That was weird. I don't know. We'll see. So let's go. I came from there, though. Let's just see where this takes us. So that's the second lake right there, the second largest lake. So see, right right here, I don't know, what was I thinking? I came from there, and right here, instead of going forward to the coastline, there I took a weird turn. But it's still good, because we ended up in the Black Forest, and that was actually amazing. Because I needed that so bad. So badly. But yeah, now that we have defeated this boss, oh, this lake is pretty large. Ah, screw it, I'm gonna have to get in the water. Okay. But yeah, now we have defeated this boss. So going this way will uh, get us into... towards the coastline. So yeah, now we have the Ikethyr power. I'm gonna save that forever, because every single time we get raided, or we get a raid going, I'm just gonna pop that Ikethyr power and run around in circles up until the raid is finished. I also might try and uh, go for a really smart thing when it comes to raids, and that's uh, creating a mound. Oh boy, this was so easy. There's the ocean. Oh my god. Oh boy, this was easy. And there's the Black Forest. Oh my god, I was so close. <laughs> but for some stupid reason, I took a weird turn. Oh my god, that's the base. So even if I draw a diagonal line from here. So basically, hold on. Hold on. Let me get my bearings here. Okay, so basically, like I said, if I go in a straight line, that's the coastline, that's the Ike here. If I go in a straight line through here, I'm gonna end up in the, at the stones. Yeah, that's knowledge I should have had a long time ago. But there it is. So we have the Ike here done, and um, yeah, next episode we can go and start farming and get ourselves into the Bronze Age. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.